Hello, today we're going to talk about network etiquette or netiquette as well as security on your computer and on the internet. So uh, this is an example in every organization, uh, the management of that organization will put together an acceptable use policy for computers and the network. Um, it takes pretty much the same form in every organization. In this case, we're looking at a student internet acceptable use policy for the San Diego, San Diego Unified School District. Um, okay, so students will have access to it, kind of outlines what, it, what the students will have access to. Uh, then it goes into responsibilities and acceptable use. Okay, now we get into prohibited uses, okay, and this is pretty much standard for, notice how it's been tailored for students. So, bullying, defam defamatory, inappropriate, abusive, obscene, profane, sexually oriented, threatening, racially offensive, or illegal material. Okay, so this is you can't transmit it or access it in any way. Uh, advertisement, solicitations, commercial ventures, or political lobbying. Information that encourages the use of controlled substances or use of system for a purpose of inciting crime. Material that violates copy that violates copyright laws. That's probably the most um, commonly violated uh, thing on the internet. Uh, that could be listening to music illegally, or it could be using images illegally. And then F vandalism or unauthorized access, hacking or tampering with hardware or software, including introducing viruses or pirated software, is strictly prohibited. Okay, let's go down. Um, so privileges, you know, it goes through what uh, things that it basically says that your network use and computer use is a privilege, not a right, and that it can be taken away. Okay, so then we get down into network rules and etiquette. Okay, so this is when uh, when you're using the internet or you're you're communicating over the internet, uh, it's important to um, to think about these things. Okay, so be polite. Do not send abusive messages to anyone. Uh, use appropriate language. You shouldn't be swearing or using vulgarities uh, in your in your emailing or in any kind of electronic communication, including, including chatting or anything else like that. Uh, remember that if you're using a school computer, that computer can be um, accessed at any time by school staff. It's just like having a uh, planner or a notebook in your class. Uh, it's not a personal device. Uh, next is to maintain privacy, okay? So do not reveal personal addresses, phone numbers, personal websites, or images of yourself to other persons. This is a really important one for kids that they often don't understand. Okay, so we don't want to have pictures of uh, where you are or who you are online, basically. Uh, you wouldn't want to put a picture of yourself out there with, like, the name of your school in the background or anything that could be used to identify where you would be at a particular time. Uh, it's best if you don't put real personal information. So when it says do not reveal personal address, phone numbers, personal websites, well, what do you do? When you go, when you go on a website, you give, um, basically you come up with some false information. Uh, if, um, if you know you're signing up for a website, they don't need to know your actual street address for any reason. Uh, unless, you know, and when you're in doubt, ask the, ask the teacher that's in the classroom. Uh, Cyberbullying is considered harassment. Refer to the policy against harassment. Respect copyright. So that's when we're searching, we always are uh, respectful of copyright information. We can't just take images or music from anywhere and use them in our work. They have to be uh, they have to be licensed for that purpose. Which means that some common licenses that you can use are GPL. Um, you could use um, Creative Commons licensed works uh, or public domain work. And finally, F, do not disrupt the network. That means that don't use uh, games or different things that are so network intensive as to stop other people from being able to access the network. Six, cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is, is the use of any electronic communication device to convey a message in any form, text, image, audio, or video, that intimidates, harasses, or otherwise intends to harm, insult, or humiliate another in a deliberate, repeated, or hostile and unwanted manner. So this should be... Um, this should be self-explanatory almost. Um, so cyberbullying is the golden rule. Don't do to other people what you wouldn't want to do, uh, want other people to do to you. Finally, security and vandalism. We're going to cover security a little bit. Vandalism uh, means that, um, you know, computer viruses, even down to hardware, you know, you don't damage the hardware that you're working on. Okay, so this is a, a review of kind of network etiquette. This is for the San Diego Unified School District. But this is common to every organization. Every organization will have this. In your organization, you can go, you should seek out when you first become associated with that organization, you, could, you should seek out and read their acceptable use policy. 
Okay, so let's take a look at um, a couple things on your computer and online uh, that are related to computer security.